a, as a lay person, when it comes yeah. to research, I've, I've read about the tangles and um, the plaques. Yeah. And what still puzzles me is, do we know definitively that it is the plaques mm -hmm. that cause Alzheimer's mm -hmm. yes. and dementia? Uh, what I think we know definitively that it's probably not the plaques that cause dementia and Alzheimer's, but the amyloid protein that builds up in small little doublets and triplets and quadruplets we call oligomers. Mm -hmm. And those seem to be the smoking gun in Alzheimer's. And okay. the plaques represent a storage form of those. As they aggregate bigger and bigger and bigger, they get stored in these plaques. And mm -hmm. ironically, we've been able to show back in 2008 that plaques are partially protective because they corral all the bad guys okay. in something that can't move in the brain. It's fixed. But in that sense, plaques aren't really protective because there is an off rate. Some of the amyloid oligomers get off. So in summary, there is very strong evidence that A-beta alterations drive Alzheimer's. And the tangles and tau are very important, but they are downstream from everything we've studied so far. And it's just not my opinion, but throughout the field. So if you nip Alzheimer's in the bud by attacking the amyloid, mm -hmm. we think that will gradually lead to less tangles, which happen secondarily. Now, there are other diseases like frontotemporal dementia, yes. in which there's no amyloid, per se, or very little, and the tangles are foremost. So they wouldn't be helped by an anti-amyloid.